It's actually day three of a quarantine for a Utah couple we told you about on a Japanese cruise ship docked and locked down after dozens of passengers came down with the coronavirus. So Jerry and Mark Jorgensen, we've been in touch uh, all this week. They actually sent us some video showing those hazmat crews on the ground there. And this was just from their balcony. Luckily, again, we've been talking about this. They're one of the lucky people that have a mm. room with a window with a balcony. There are some rooms underneath that don't even have daylight at this point. Oh my goodness. Not Isn't what that... you expect to see outside of your cruise right. ship window. You were like, where's the Right. You and know, the so, ocean? <laughs> and we appreciate them sending this to us. Um, they actually aren't allowed to leave their rooms. So they showed us around their room uh, while they were stuck in it. And this is actually um, going to be going on this quarantine until at least February 19th, they tell us, because they've had 61 cases so far. But take a look at what they showed us uh, from their perspective. So we're very fortunate. We have a mini suite, and so we have a little sitting area and king size bed. And then around here, the closet and the bathroom. Bathroom's nice, we even have a tub. So we're very, very fortunate. Uh, a lot of people just have inside cabins, and I can't imagine how hard that would be. Uh, so just to realize that this is, I mean, this happened in China, and it's spreading globally, which is just crazy to us. A lot of people ask if I'm nervous or scared. We're not. Uh, maybe ignorance is bliss, but we are fine, we're safe, and we're having fun with our friends. I'll let you go meet them. They're next door in uh, the next door cabin. So we've been playing games, watching movies, reading a lot, taking a nap. So, I mean, it could be worse, but you know, we have businesses and stuff back in the States, but we're managing everything. We have internet, um, so right now we're good. So there's myself, my um, husband Mark, and our best friends, the Goldmans, that travel with us. And luckily we have this connecting balcony. And this is their cabin, so you can come in and say hi to them. Good in too. So meet Jerry, she's also a Jerry, and there's Carl. Wave <laughs> hi. <laughs> Woohoo! Here we are. Can you imagine that? Yeah, I don't know. I can't. No, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm imagining people like with sitting there with oh, their yeah. watch and doing circles around their right. bed, Counting trying to get down. in their steps. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, yes, steps and in. they're very active. <laughs> such a closed space. It's actually kind of interesting. Jerry was doing some exercise workouts just to keep fit. I mean, you got to do that. This time. If you're gonna be stuck in there for right. you know several weeks. That's crazy. And they are staying very, very optimistic. Jerry yeah, actually, like they it. sent us another right. video showing a little bit more of their balcony, the view from their balcony. Take a look. So come on over here. Uh, I want to show you these ambulances down here that have been here all day. You can see they're lined up. These ones that are flashing, uh, probably that one facing the other way is getting ready to take an infected person to the hospital. So these have been here all day. You can see the tents. It's kind of like ET and with all the hazmat suits and the tents where they're getting them out of here. You can kind of see it's hard to film, but this is a 3,700, uh, not passenger, but total with crew. That's how many is up there on the ship. And then over this way, I don't know if you can see uh, people all in black. They are the news crew. You can see their satellite trucks behind them. And uh, they've been there since we've been here. There's been helicopters forming. Um, a lot of interest. Look how, uh, you know, organized. They're, they're mentioning, like, it's so organized. Um, this is, of course, before the quarantine. But they're saying, you know, they are being kept updated with daily reminders from um, the crew, like of what's going on, what the plan is, if there are any new cases. So far, 61 cases. It wow. started off with one, 10, the next day another 10, and then um, the most recent one was yesterday, which is technically, they're 16 hours ahead. But yesterday, um, 41 cases. Oh my goodness. In one day. So yeah, a lot of eyeballs on this, and we appreciate them sending us video. We're gonna bring you more throughout the next couple of days. Next week, they're still gonna be on that boat. So. We'll continue to keep you updated.